company after one on Saturday and we're going that way into this wind. So we're here at the start of McLennan Lake. You see my have to pack up my last barrel, better not forget that. And get the boat into the water and then I'm off. Here we are after our first portage. This was a plan B portage. The uh, white caps in the other lake were just a little too much for us, so we had to kind of backtrack a little, go to a different portage, which means we do two portages today. This little bit of a lake, and then there's either a portage straight ahead or a portage somewhere over there. And then uh, that's into the main lake that'll take us down to where we hopefully are camping, uh, probably eight or nine kilometers down. It feels a little hot out here, so that's after the second portage. It's a tiny little portage, but anyways, as you can see, we're getting a little red. That might be from the sun, could be from the heat. Evidently, there's a bit of a weather warning on right now. You can see this dark sky. We passed by a cabin that kind of warned us and said just around the corner is a campground. It's about 20 after 4, so I think that's our, where we're going to today. So we settled into this campsite. Um, it's kind of less of a campsite and more of a Davy Jones's locker with all these boats here. But uh, it actually is the end of the portage that we meant to, uh, to head to but that we couldn't get to from the wind. So anyways, we're here. We do have a campfire here. Lynn and Sandra are up in the hills. I pitched in the wind a little bit and uh, we're just looking at the day as the storm seems to seem so far to have passed and we didn't get anything so knock on wood we won't get anything. Everything seems to be coming kind of from that direction so everything's looking up for us. We might have spoken a little too loo too soon. We might have spoken a little too soon. There's another set of cells rolling over us. Yeah. We don't know exactly where it's going. But in the distance, you can really hear the thunder and we've seen a couple of flashes, so we're keeping a wary weather eye. I think a few things have passed us and just missed us. It's in the evening now, um, somewhere around 20 to 9, and it's uh, most of the storms seem to have passed. It's actually really nice now. Uh, as you can see, it's got a very nice picture going on there where the sunlight is just highlighting the island. And then behind it is just kind of a can canopy of gray and a little bit of storms in the distance. So here's a nice picture to remember the evening by. We're just at around 8 o'clock this morning. Most of the stuff is taken down. Just kind of finishing up packing things into the individual packs here so hopefully if everything goes well we'll be on the water by 8 o'clock 8 30. the day is not quite as windy as it was yesterday i think there's a slight breeze against us but i guess you know we'll really see what happens when we get out there it does look very nice however 8 30 on the nose everything's packed and 
We are just pushing the first boat out and we're heading that way. Good luck everyone. So it's about 9.30 and we've gone to about the camp spot, I think is over there somewhere, that we were trying to get to yesterday. So we got up a little bit on the, wa on the water a little earlier than we have in the past just to kind of get to this point and say that we haven't lost much from a bad day yesterday. The wind is still a little bit unpredictable for us today. It gusts and slows us down similar to yesterday but no white cap so far so um, we are making much better progress. It's about 10 after 10 and we just came to the first portage of the day. This is about 7k from where we started I think and so we've already taken the boats out and we're just starting to take the first loads across. There's the new canoe. Still haven't named it yet though. Nope. One day. Is that going to be its name one day? Ten thirty, and one boat is ready to go. The other one is just waiting for me to get my sorry butt on the water, and then we're into the wind again, still for a little bit down that way, and then we hang a left at some point, and hopefully we have a favorable wind from here. We'll see. We had the. We just got here. This is the last portage out of Minhuk Lake. And this gets us kind of into small lake city and then down into the streams. So this is the extent of the portage, which is actually really kind of nice because you see we can probably make 15 trips and it takes us only three, 30 seconds or so. Anyways, um, we're going to eat our lunch. It is just noon and we're making fantastic time in spite of the white caps that we've been going against. Um, we've gotten the occasional island to help us, but uh, we're doing really good. That was one sweet portage. So now we're going to head out, hang, go along there and hang a right, and then just keep going. It's quarter after two and we are just done our last portage of the day uh, which was back over there. So coming off of this I think we've probably only got about four kilometers to go before we're going to where we thought we should camp tonight so this is actually a really good day. I thought we did a pretty good on our portages and uh, Made really good time on the water, even though the wind was mostly against us. All in all, though, um, I'm really looking forward to getting back to camp and just resting these old bones. It's 3.30 and we made it to this place. This is the Portage Trail. And they just cleared it a month ago from the plow wind that came through here. So you could see they did an extensive reconstructive surgery here. Um, so this is also, you can see the fire pit here. This is also a camp spot. So I guess, you know, being 3.30 about now, we're going to say, let's call it a day. I think we've done 20 some kilometers and five portages today. So. Maybe we'll uh, relax a little now.
It's 6.30 and we just all woke up. Lynn's making some coffee. And I'm just taking a look. It looks like a really nice morning. So I'm thinking this might be a nice day. Um, hopefully the wind stays down today. Like yesterday it goes a little bit crazy. Um, we are heading down more of a channel today than instead of lake, so we might uh, might be okay either way, but not as many kilometers today and only a couple of portages, so I think we should uh, we should look forward to an early day to camp or maybe a further camp than what we were originally planning. We'll see how it goes. It's 20 after 9 and we're just finishing the portage into uh, kind of the channel that gets us down to Otter. This uh, this one here is where we camped. So at 9.21 that's when I guess we've 9 o'clock we've left and took 20 minutes to portage. I believe we go that way and out and around but it might be that way. I have to still check the map. I guess we'll see in a bit. We just started off and this is a beautiful morning. You can see this is uh, where we're just heading into the channel and, and uh, with a little bit of current, some nice uh, water lilies. And then just a beautiful channel that looks like we're gonna follow for a little bit. I think we open up a bit after that, but we'll see how it goes. 10.30 and we are at the first portage of the day. Here we've just arrived. Sandra had to do some wading to get uh, everything into position. But it was a nice little paddle down the, the lake that we passed through here. And I guess you can tell this is the portage because they cleared it just recently. And so we're off that way. Just finishing the last portage. This is what we portaged around. Can't really line that, or maybe you could. Haven't given it a try. But we're heading off this way. You can see a little bit of a breeze in our face. But uh, hopefully that won't be a factor. It's not really a deep wide place it looks like. So we'll see how it goes. It's about 6.30 in the morning and we've just gotten up after a night of rain. Um, it's actually a really nice morning. So the sun is shining, it's clear, uh, very little wind. I'm sure that's going to change today. Um, so yesterday as we were sitting around, we named this place Horsefly Island. And then I think this morning the name is being changed to Mosquito Island. But I uh, um, had a couple of rollers come go over us last night. Had to batten, head out and batten down the hatch on my hammock a couple of times. But uh, other than that, I guess we're just aiming for let's get some coffee, some breakfast, and figure out when we can hit the water to get a nice early start.
It's 825. We are just putting into the water, so we made really good progress. Um, we have a beautiful morning. Uh, we want to get out early before the wind does start to pick up. And we are heading that way, then hang a left, and head south from there into the French Lake Loop, Lake Ducker. Just slowly paddling through kind of a swampy area here and it's still a pretty beautiful day. A little bit of a breeze but that's actually nice with the warmth of the day. But isn't this idyllic? It's 20 after 10 and we're just finishing our portage. Second portage, so before two hours have passed, we've done two portages and I don't know, just a few kilometers, I guess. And we're going this way and then it breaks into a lake at some point. Um, and then another portage, which kind of sucks, but either way, we're getting on our way. Here we, it's about 12.30 and we are at Ducker Lake. You might, might remember this camp spot from such films as French Lake Loop and French Lake Loop Revisited. Um, this is French Lake, Loop, uh, French Lake Loop from the other side. Anyways, it is the same campground but you can see there's a little bit of damage from that plow wind that came through. We, uh, we're just stopping here for lunch and uh, once we uh, finish that we've got one more portage and hopefully hit Otter Lake um, sometime this afternoon and set up camp and an easy day out tomorrow hopefully. It's 1.40 and we're just starting the last portage of the trip. Everybody's in high spirits and ready to get this done. It's about 10 after 4 and we're approaching soon, uh, hopefully around the corner, maybe uh, three quarters of a kilometer away, the, uh, the camp spot that we're trying to get to today. Hopefully it's not occupied by somebody. So this is Otter Lake. It's a pretty sweltering day right now. It looks very calm, but that's only because we are in the lee of this big island here. We are uh, just going to shoot around here and see what we find. It is 4.40 and we are finally here. This is a camp spot on Uti Island in uh, Otter Lake. And there's, there's really not much to look at for this one. Like it's, uh, it looks like it recently went through a forest fire. So, you know, we, we have a fire pit and we have, you know, access to water, which is pretty high up, which isn't the greatest. But I've got a hammock and I'm trying to figure out where can a person put a hammock up here. Uh, well, I guess I'll keep searching. It is 7.25 
And this is the view that I had from my hammock over there out at um, a rainy blowy day. So we only really have about eight or nine kilometers to go today. But we wake up to this. We had all night we had thunderstorms roaring over over top. And uh, so we uh, ended up deciding to put up a tarp for the morning so we can get our morning stuff done and just kind of see where this day goes. It's actually kind of cleared a little bit. It's not raining quite nearly quite as bad. And uh, the wind isn't quite as much. So I'm hoping that we're, we'll end up finding a decent time we can get out of here today. If you ever wondered what to do, what we do when there's a rain morning, well, this is it. Make our coffee under the tarp and just sit around and try to stay somewhat dry. It's about nine o'clock and uh, I guess today we we figured we had it too easy the previous few days and so we're kicking it up a notch. But hopefully uh, we'll come around that corner and we should find be able to find shelter from the wind most of the way until the last little stretch and we'll see how that goes. Somehow we do this and we call it fun. Anyways, this is kind of what my day has been like. Dreary, drizzly, Sandra and Lynn way in the distance there. Um, these waves are leading us into Missinippi right now. I'm trying to get over so that they pull me straight in directly rather than into the bay over there. But uh, I guess we'll see. It's uh, got to take a break here and there. And I thought maybe this time I'd take a little video.